Recently, Microsoft released a bunch of new Excel functions. Today, we're going to take a look at one of those in a little more detail, the image function. Here we are in Excel. So what we want to try and achieve is get a picture of all of the cakes that are in column A into column B. What we would have previously done is head across to Google, pick the picture, let's choose this one, right clicked and press copy image, head back over to Excel and then paste that in using control V. But then we would have had to try and resize that picture, try and fit it as best we can. And also on top of that, if we then try and filter, say red velvet cake, you can see that the image just stays where it is because it's not embedded in the cell itself. So let's delete the image, clear the filter. Now we're going to use the image function. So equals image, open parentheses, and then open the quotation marks. You can see that there's one required argument for the image function, which is the source. All other ones are actually optional arguments because they are in square brackets. So we'll go over to Google. This time we're going to copy the image address. Done that, back to Excel. We're going to paste the image address in, close the quotation marks and the brackets, press enter, and you can see now that the picture is actually embedded in that cell. So if we now filter red velvet cake again, you can see that it doesn't appear there anymore. It's great. Not only can you copy the address and it has to be a HTTPS address, so from a website, straight into the image function itself. You can also reference um, the source in another cell. So let's do that now. Press equals image, open bracket. This time we'll just reference cell D3, close brackets, press enter. And you can see that that now appears. Double click the fill handle to fill it down. And you can see that we've now got pictures for all of our cakes. And what's more, if we filter, let's go back to our red velvet cake. You can see that it appears there. Clear that. If we sort, we'll sort largest to smallest. You can see now that it all sorts perfectly. So, job done. To get access to this function, you need to have two things. One, a Microsoft Office 365 account. And two, be part of their insider program. I'll put a link in the description below. Also, let me know in the comments what you would use this for. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.